Okay, my name is Sergey. I'm product lead at Adapti, and welcome to the live demo of our new Paywall Builder. Our main goal behind developing it was to make Paywall experimentation fast, easy, and development-free. So today we'll showcase the unique features that allow you to create beautiful and converting paywalls with very little effort and, of course, zero development time. To start off, we got to create a couple of products to be placed on the paywall. So, for example, let's pick one week and one month. And then we can switch over to the tab right to this builder tab right here, where we'll create our no-code paywall. Um, so our builder offers a variety of paywall examples designed to simplify the process. These templates are easy to customize, allowing you to quickly create a paywall that fits your app's branding. And you can also build short single screen paywalls or long scrollable paywalls. For this particular example, let's pick this one here with a timer. So one of our standout features is free layout. Many tools out there offer limited freedom in how you design your screen, and you're basically stuck with whatever the template allows you to do. With our builder, you can place and move elements freely on your paywall and see the result instantly in the interactive preview on the right. So for example, you can move a countdown, down, a countdown timer higher or lower, or even remove something entirely. So if this caption over here, we don't need it, we can remove it. This flexibility gives you full control over the design without any restrictions. And now let's explore the basic elements. So our builder includes all the essential components such as text, buttons, images, lists, links, and many, many more. Let me show you some examples of what is possible within those components. So with text, you can customize its size, its font. Let's start with the size. You can customize its font to be Georgia, for example, or, you know, we can go back. Uh, alignment, color, of course, um, and any other, you know, options that are necessary to create a good layout. Uh, with images, you can add multiple of those. Uh, of course, move them around just like you want to. Or uh, you can customize what the hero image looks like over here. So, for example, of course, you can change it or even change the gradient that is applied on, on the top of the image. So um, let's go to the timer. So with timer, you get multiple formats of what's possible, um, such as this and this. Or you can even go ahead and, you know, put in some extra text. So, for example, with this one, you can put ends in and before the timer. And this timer is, of course, ticking uh, once this paywall is drawn on the device. Um, one more thing I'd really like to show is to show you to you is a carousel. So if we go to a different template, for example, we can see that this one offers a review carousel, which is here in the footer. So this carousel consists of multiple reviews, which a customer can scroll through. And a customer can, you can even choose to have a slideshow which automatically switches from one card to the other. So it's auto scrollable carousel. It's possible as well. So one final element that I'd like to, one final element out of the basic ones that I'd like to show you is a list right here. So this list is a list of features that you offer on your paywall. And let me show you a couple of templates that utilize it. So for example, this is a list. And, um, you know, this is also a list. So both of those lists are possible within the Paywall Builder. You just have to customize the list to fit your needs. So, yeah, let's go back to the timer template. So up until now, we were focusing on the elements that define what you're selling. And now let's focus on the selling itself, which is also critical. And on this Paywall, it happens in the footer right here. So here we have the product, weekly and monthly. We have a purchase button right here, and we have some extra copy below the button. So cancel anytime, no questions asked, as well as some, you know, legal links that you're required to have. Those are pretty basic. So for now, let's stick to products. Products, um, you know, in this case, you have weekly and monthly, like I said, and it's also, they are also endlessly customizable. So you can customize their layout to be vertical or horizontal, and you can customize the alignment of the labels within them, even splitting them in two groups. And you can customize the style. So in this particular case, one week and one month, which are the title of the products, are a little small, are a little bit small. So we probably want to increase those, right? And we can do just that. So 
basically with every product you get four labels that are differently positioned and you're free to apply any kind of style into it. Um, two more things I'd like to mention is that you can drill down for, you know, besides the style, you can drill down into a particular product and customize its content. And with regards to the content, two things are important. So first, uh, this one week and one month labels right here, they're actually pulled from the app stores. So those are, you don't have to hard, go, hard code those in. We just pull those from the app stores when they're available and they're automatically localized uh, to whatever locale the user's device is in. So this is pretty important and it's easy to use with special tags that we have right here, pro title, pro price, and many others. And second thing is that it's really easy to customize the content of the product based on the offer that the user is eligible for. So for example, if for a particular product the user is eligible for a free trial, you can also choose to have a different text for it. So instead of one week, you know, have something like this, right? All right, so this is it on the products. And for buttons, it's relatively simple. So it's also customizable based on which offer the user is eligible for. So again, like for free trial, you'd probably want to put something like try for free here. Um, right, and then of course you can customize the size and even customize the place of the button, right? But besides that, you can even remove the button entirely. And so what this will do is it will make each product a purchase button in and of itself. So pressing a product will initiate a purchase process. So this is also really handy for some of the layouts of the paywalls that are out there. Um, all right, so I guess this is almost it. One final thing that I'd like to show you is a trial toggle. Um, so, you know, with our products, it's possible to split those into two groups um, by applying a toggle. So. With toggle on, you can have some you, you can have some set of some subset of the products with toggle on, and some s other subset of the products with toggle off. And this is also easily configurable. So, you know, all you have to do is just define the groups. So with toggle off, we probably want to go with the monthly subscription, and with toggle on, we want to go with the weekly subscription with probably a trial. So, by toggling this on and off, your users will see different products that you have defined in this product grouping over here. So this is really important for the free trial offer, for example. So by now, we built a paywall for the English speaking audience, but if you want, but what if you want to reach a global audience, right? For this, you'll probably need to localize your paywall. And I'm happy to say that our builder support, supports multiple locales and localization out of the box, which allows you to easily switch and customize text and images for different regions. So if we want to, for example, localize this paywall over here, we can go to localization here. I'm oh, sorry, let me show you once again. So localization here. And for example, suppose we want to add a French locale. So we're adding it right here. And um, you know, from this point on, we can even customize the images that we use on the paywall to be to be uh, dependent on the locale that the paywall is shown in, or of course text. So, for example, if we put it here French version of the title and go back, we can easily see how our paywall looks uh, in different languages. So this feature ensures your paywall is accessible and user friendly worldwide. To wrap it up, with our Paywall Builder, creating a paywall has never been easier or more flexible, and it really drives you towards being creative and experimenting way more than you did before, which of course means more growth. So thank you for watching, and we can't wait to see the amazing paywalls you create with our tool. Thank you so much.